Hey there guys, it's Joey. So this is going to be a witchy haul of sorts and a little bit of an explainy type video at the beginning. So before I do the fun bits, the hauly bits, and a little bit of a complainy bit actually as well about some of the hauly bits, I haven't been doing many videos, many serious videos or many talky videos just because been going through a lot with uh, my family relative that's in hospital and that's been stressing me out and one thing and another so I've just been taking quiet time to heal and rest and plod on through so that's why there hasn't been many videos this week and you know we're getting ready for the year in a day study which I'm also going to be a part of and I did a lot of studying uh, and I continue to do a lot of studying so I'm not doing it because it's my year in a day I'm sort of treating it like a, a refresher course which I think is always useful for us to go back and um, see where we were when we started and remember things and get that excitement back but also for the community and reaching out and growing as a, as a community together so a few of these things I got because I just wanted to make sure I had enough. So we'll start with, actually we'll start with these. This is nothing to do with the um, year in a day. This is actually Yule. I got these candles from Tesco today. And I just thought they were really cute with their little snowflakes on them. I think it was three pound for three really tall taper candles. I really like them and I thought they'll be great for my Yule altar which is all currently packed away while we're waiting on inspection. So I also went to my my local pagan eat place and got some bits and pieces. Now I got these, they started doing incense sticks like this and this is lemongrass and the colour of this is my favourite colour, is that sort of turquoisey bluey green colour, it's one of my favourite colours and it was actually the colour that attracted me more than anything they were actually lemongrass scent so I just thought they were cool and I got some candles uh, little very small spell candles and these are actually smaller than the ones I normally get so I picked up a black one and there was, I know you needed an orange one for the here in a day and then there's a dark blue and a, a purpley indigo -y one. I probably already got everything I already need I, apart from Meadowsweet which I ordered and I just wanted to make doubly sure I had some extra in case I need to use them before that point because I do use a lot of candles. And then I picked up some crystals I think it's Kyrite, I think. Oh, it was Kyrite, and then I dropped it back in the bag. Kyrite. It's oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Tumbled Kyrite. I have some roughed Kyrite. I think it's Kyrite. I think that's right. Pretty sure it's right. And then I got a piece of sodalite, which has been bothering me to get a piece of sodalite, and so I got one. And then I got three more pieces of smoky quartz. And They've stopped selling herbs in there because children have been stealing them. I was like, what? What? I think it's, it's been one of those days. It's been a bit like, what? So then I had ordered some herbs from Pagan Dreams and I don't really know what's going on with Pagan Dreams right now. Um, I ordered hibiscus and I ordered hibiscus flower. This is what I got last time I ordered hibiscus flower from Pagan Dreams, right? This is what I got last time. Now this hibiscus flower is what, a month old or so? So I was ordering some more because I was running quite low and I like the flower for the crafting side of things. I like the way it looks. I didn't need any um, cut because I have this from Alchemist Apothecary and you can see the beautiful 
dark purpley color of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is what came. This fine cut. And it's it's almost brown, and it looks like there is salt in it. Um. <laughs> I'm not impressed. I don't. I don't know how. Well, I'm assuming the ca the c camera will pick it up, but I I don't understand why I got fine cut hibiscus. It, it looks like it's actually a tea or something rather than hibiscus flower. So I was a little bit surprised that it wasn't what I'd have ordered. And I've ordered this more than once, so I'm not entirely sure what on earth that was about. So then I ordered. I actually ordered from them because I'm waiting for um, the Alchemist Apothecary to get Angelica Root in and I really needed some so I reordered a little bit of some from Pagan Dreams and that looks fine. Um, the Meadow Sweet I've received, I'm a little bit concerned because A the label is ripped with where the things that normally are but it's taped all the way over and last time it was taped all the way over the bag was ripped. So I'm really hoping I'm not going to undo that tape and then it's all going to fall out. We'll find out. And then I got Yarrow, Copal, and Patchouli, which are just things that I use a lot of. So it was a little bit ranty there about the whole Pain Dreams thing. I know some people have had problems recently and I have too. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure if it's the move or what but uh, I was really disappointed I was I'm probably gonna have to at some point now order hibiscus whole flowers from somewhere maybe the alchemist apothecary if they have whole flowers because I'm waiting on them to get their big bag of angelica root um which I asked them to get in for me and they've they've sort of been moving heaven and earth to get it in for me in a large quantity and it's because it's my absolute favourite herb, Angelica root. Let's just have the crystals there, are you? Because they're awesome. And then, boop! Yeah, so that was just a few bits and pieces. Um, some of it's for the year and the day thing, like I said. That's going to be... I'm going to be taking part in that. I'm going to be doing my own rune experiences with the ogre runes to carry on the that it's a been requested and I bought ogre runes anyway because that's going to further my Celtic path so I'm going to carry on doing that with the ogre runes there hasn't been a drawing for the weird which is this week's rune um, I don't think it A lot of people have a lot of problems with the weird because it's it's a modern invention. It wasn't found in the original heathen sets. And I'm kind of experiencing the Nordic runes basically through my perspective and sort of incorporating them into my practice and, and seeing them through my Celtic path rather than them being actually Celtic runes, which is more to do with the Ogham. So I'm presuming once I move on to the Ogham, those are going to like be snap, crackle and pop, basically, with my uh, path working, because obviously the Nordic runes have offered loads and loads of insight and information and have come through sort of my scope of seeing things. So I'm presuming the Celtic runes on top of a Celtic path is going to be doubly interesting for me. And <coughs> I am going with a weird rune but I sort of looked at it at the beginning of the week and thought you know is this just going to influence me like a normal amethyst would <laughs> now fortunately the amethyst lines up with the meanings of the weird the spirituality part the in the lap of the gods part so it doesn't really make huge amounts of difference because amethyst is my spirit stone so however I'm experiencing it is how it's meant to be so that's just a quick update on the end um, I don't think there's anything else I need to say apart from quick apologies for the lack of videos this week. I, I'm going to be keeping things simple, keeping things like crafting and just this, this little video just while I'm dealing with family matters and this, that and the other. <laughs>
So that's it for this video. Many blessings.